that the church that I'm a part of has not always been on the front lines, has not always been on the right side, has not always lifted up the right energy of love and inclusion and hope. But it is the people who have checked the church. It is the people who have said enough is enough in our streets, in our temples. Enough is enough in our sanctuaries, in our mosques, in whatever the sacred space in which we gather. And so we have some bread that we will break. It is part of our repentance, and it is part of the new day that is the day of inclusion. It is the day of hope. It is the day where we march not only in response to hate, but because of love. That's why we show up tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. I embody in my flesh, in my blackness, in my same gender loving identity, in my gender fluidity, I embody a spirit of hope, a spirit of resistance, a spirit of determination. Love will and love has won. Kahila Synagogue near Lake Merritt. When we break this bread, we are reminded that we are co-conspirators, comrades with the divine spirit that moves through us and dances between us and guides us and is the undeniable thread that all of us are made in part of the sacred web of existence. No one is separate from the web of existence. No one does not belong. No one should not be safe. No one should not be celebrated. No one should not be protected. No one should not be loved. Let us love. With all our might and all our strength, the holy oneness of all existence in all its myriad mysterious forms, however you call it, however you call it not, we are one, we will always be one. Yes. And we will dismantle white supremacy yes. one by one.